Hello friends, uh, hope you all are keeping good. So welcome back to my channel Ripples on Road and Namaste everyone. Today I am very happy because today I will be sharing something which I was passionate from my childhood. So I started uh, painting. So you will see this is my paintings behind me. So some of them I will be showing you, a few of them because most of them were sold. And uh, I started painting when I was very young. So. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember when uh, I started but my mother was a teacher and she used to bring back home small bits of uh, chalks which were uh, of no use for her. So that uh, she used to collect and bring it uh, back home because I used to love drawing. And these days it was very difficult to get a canvas board. So, and also good uh, paints, it was very expensive. So uh, the Mumbai streets were my canvas board and uh, the chalks were my, you know, my, you can say, my paint and uh, this was uh, what I started uh, when I was very young and uh, different colors of chalks, let me tell you. And uh, no, no, I never had been to any art school to learn painting or anything. I learned it on my own. Today you will be enjoying a series of videos where I will be showing you uh, how I do my artwork and not only that, I will be showing you some crafts also. This video, uh, this series of videos which I will be showing you, it's on a model train. So, you know, you have seen my earlier video about a model train which uh, I showed you. So, on the side panels, there were some canvas boards which I had kept. So, those canvas boards I uh, will be painting and not only that, I uh, will be doing some uh, craft and artwork also. So, that you will feel that, uh, the re you will get a realistic feel of the train running through the forest and all that. So, I hope you'll enjoy all this. Thank you very much, uh, friends, for watching my videos. Thank you very much. So, let me show you all where I started my artwork. So, this is the street uh, where I used to do my artwork, little ahead from here. And whenever I travel uh, on this uh, road, I always remember my childhood days. So, here uh, I used to draw, but those days, the roads were not this big and there was no divider in between. It was a very small road and uh, there was no much traffic and so that it was very easy for me to sit and draw things on the road so this is the place now it's coming so let me stop the bike and here this uh, on this uh, street i used to do my artwork uh, i used to draw and i used to uh, color it with uh, color pencils uh, color chalks and this is where i live you can see that small house so that's where i used to live now i don't live here anymore so thanks i hope you will uh, enjoy this so friends here is where i sit and paint usually and this is my easel i brought it uh, i ordered it from new delhi because in mumbai you don't get this quality this is a real teak wood so this uh, beautiful one very big one so i can do big paintings also on this so what all you need to start a uh, painting on acrylic very important is the canvas board so here i brought about 10 to 15 so this one so this is here it goes here so this is the canvas board so next thing what you need is a palette so i have an acrylic palette and uh, what i do is i cover it with a clean wrap uh, it's a small thin plastic wrap so whenever I want to throw it, I don't need to wash it, I just remove the plastic and just throw it. You can see from behind how I I just uh, wrap it. So this is the way I wrap it and it's very easy and comfortable. So you need a small piece of uh, clean cloth so you can uh, clean the brush and then a mug of water or a jug of water to wash a brush and also acrylic is the medium. and. Uh, uh, these are my brushes and uh, there is a spray, bo uh, uh, spray bottle so that I can use it. I uh, will show you how I do it. And then these are my colors. So I use uh, acrylic colors uh, mostly and uh, this uh, these are beautiful colors and this company is a very old company, Camlin. And uh, I use it uh, often. So it's not professional but it is uh, comfortable for me. So friends, let me turn around. So this is my latest painting and it looks very beautiful. Uh, I did one more uh, long back but uh, I didn't like it so I have to change the uh, you know some uh, background and all that. So this is a very old painting. So very beautiful. This is an oil paint so this is a very old one. 
this also is my latest uh, art you can see and uh, this uh, very old one this is uh, mother teresa you can see i i drew it in the year 86 1986 14th of january it's a beautiful uh, uh, pencil drawing of mother teresa so these are all my uh, artwork so i'll show you how i do my painting so this is my canvas and uh, this why i'm doing whenever you do an acrylic paint so you have to pre uh, spray some water on this so that it will be little, uh, it is dry, the canvas is really dry, so you spray some water and after that uh, you have a cloth, just to a small piece of cloth, you just wipe it. So whatever dust or anything, it just goes off and the cloth, uh, because canvas uh, board, this is called a canvas board. Canvas board always will have a board and then a cloth on that. So now today I, I am drawing a scenery. You will just see that how it is. Let me select the brush. So I take, so let me take the brush. I have taken this brush. So friends, I will start my painting. So I will be spraying on this also a little bit water. So I have taken two colors that's blue and white so this for the sky so i won't be putting much blue on this a little bit here on this side something in our mind so I have to draw this way or this uh, this should come here on this side and the other thing should come so that's why I am doing it I am taking I am giving much importance on the left side for the sky you will know why I am giving more importance uh, to the sky on the left is ready so immediately you have to wash the brush so that's very important and not only you have to wash it you have to wash it properly and then wipe it with a cloth so that so I am trying to draw a hill here so I am taking two colors For, uh, for ordinary people, it's just uh, dark, uh, dark brown and uh, light brown. So for uh, not for artists, for the people who are who doesn't who don't know much about the painting. So for them, I'm just telling the shade of the color. So I'm using earlier. I used this brush, so I'm using a smaller one because now I'll be going to do detailing. So this is the brush. Now friends, uh, you can see this has dried, immediately it gets dried, acrylic color, if you keep it just for 2 minutes or 5 minutes, it gets dried. So here.
here ends my first uh, work of art uh, for my model train so in my model train setup i'll be showing different terrain so that uh, you'll see desert you'll see spring you'll see rainy season you'll see snowfall so that the train you feel that the train is moving from one uh, terrain to another one so that's about uh, this painting and uh, here i showed you one tree this tree is to depict that there is life otherwise uh, if this tree is not there then the painting doesn't give the real uh, you know what i can say that uh, the, the, the painting doesn't give the life to the art so that's about this painting thank you very much for watching thank you